Hey, welcome to Monheim Microphones Recording Studio in Hollywood, California. Today I want to talk to you about the Deca Tree recording technique and the Monheim Omni microphone and how you can use the Monheim Omni in the Deca Tree format and then also how you can take a microphone like the Omni and adapt it into your own recording technique for your own space. Not everyone has a big, huge sound scoring stage, so it's really important that we go forward talking to you about new techniques that you can make in your own space. The Deca Tree dates back to the 1950s when Roy Wallace and some of the Deca Records engineers were recording on a sound scoring stage and they were utilizing three Omni microphones and exploring techniques to make the room sound larger or more expansive, while also maintaining a very strong forward center of the image. So they explored a lot of different techniques, and one of them we now know is the Deca tree. The Deca tree is a tree-like formation of three microphones spaced about 1.3 meters apart, and if you're using it in the space, it is typically above or behind the conductor's head. So it's hearing how the conductor would hear with a very large, expansive, enhanced image. The height is usually at about 10.6 feet, roughly, or three and a half meters about. A lot of people have adapted this microphone technique and some people have utilized the MS in the front position, an MS miking pattern. So mid-side in the front mic position instead of a traditional Omni. Other people have used this principle and enhanced it as in a wider pattern and used a directional microphone in the center. It all happens to do with your applications and how you're using the microphones and what you're trying to capture. One of the things I love about the Deca Tree technique is that it started as an experiment. It was engineers that were trying to get something bigger than life in their own space. So they were working for a record company, but that doesn't mean you can't work for yourself and create something bigger than life in your own space. The Omni microphone from Mannheim is actually a very ideal tool for something like the Deca Tree. The top end on the Omni has an extended high end on a shelf at about 10K, and it enhances the stereo field depth or the perceived depth of the room. So you can imagine that an Omni microphone like this would enhance an already enhanced image with a lot more extended detail and a lot more modern accuracy than traditional Omni microphones. The other thing about the Omni is that it has a natural extended low end compared to some modern reference microphones. And you'll know that this is actually very helpful in perceiving the depth and richness of the room, in addition to the top end clarity that I already talked about. Start with something like the Omni and get a detailed feeling for the room and start to experiment with other mics and what you can do with your space. But the clarity and the detail that we offer on this microphone is a great starting point to see what your room can actually offer you. Once you've done your experimentation, or if you have any questions, reach out to us. I love hearing about people's new techniques and approaches and always happy to help, uh, especially when you have questions about the Monheim Mommies or our tools. Mics at gmail.com or monheimmics.com or uh, Instagram and Facebook on the Thanks. Thanks. When you make your mark.